Hello, I'm Ben Stein. My brain is a miraculous instrument. It contains the information I use to protect my money. $5,000. I'll put it up, but I won't give it up without a fight. But if you're smart enough, quick enough, and lucky enough, you can win Ben Stein's money. Touch, if you will, my stomach. Feel how it trembles inside. That's because I'm putting $5,000 of my money on it and once again giving these three insects a chance to take it all away from me if they've got the cojones. And tonight is a very special night because this is a celebration of our 500th anniversary of Win Ben Stein's money. And now, let's turn to the butterfly to my cocoon the inimitable, sultry sex bomb, Nancy Pimentel, and find out a little bit about today's people. Thank you, Ben. Okay, our first contestant, Joe Spagna. Hi, Joe. Viva Hi. Spagna. Hi, Nancy. Viva Spagna. Viva Spagna. Viva Italia. Oh, oh never mind. Uh, okay, okay uh, you're from Berkeley, and you're a grad student. What That's are you correct. studying? Study entomology and arachnology. Bugs and spiders. Bugs. Ew. Ew. Yes. That's what they all say. What they all say, ew. Pretty much. Really? All but our department at our university. Do they say to you, bug boy, bug boy, what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, that's very good when they come for yeah. you. Very good, very good. <laughs> yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> I was, I, Joe, you're an actor too, right? Come on, be honest. Not at all. Oh yeah, Nobody right. Nobody writes okay. haikus on the spot. Oh. Go ahead. How about what about Ben? I am on the spot. Nancy and Ben taunt me. I will ben win Ben's dough. That's it? That's all That's I That's fabulous. Could. That's fabulous. That's fabulous. Hi, right, Joe. Fine, yeah. Good luck. Nick, Paula Finn. Hi, Paula. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm very good. A massage therapist. Yay. There you go. Wow. <laughs> so, you can explain the Buddha nature that Ben bows to all yeah. the time? Oh, please do please briefly. Do, please I don't know do what briefly. the hell he's been talking Well, in about. my understanding, the Buddha is a was a human being who, through his own efforts, attained enlightenment. So the Buddha nature is this conscious mind. So when anyone is of that nature, they are living in the moment, not in the future or in the past. They are here in this conscious moment. Very good. Very nicely done. Bug boy. Yeah. <laughs> the bug boy now sounds more interesting. No, no just kidding. No. Just kidding. Okay, <laughs> very interesting. Time. Okay, Paula, we bow to the Buddha nature in you, and uh, we're moving on to James Finch. Hi, James Finch. Hi, Nancy. Hey, uh, what do you do? You're an X-ray tech. Uh huh. And you're a witch. Yeah. Oh, witches and I do not get along. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but you, uh, okay, so you got to tell me, tell me about the slang ointment that you make. Well, it's based on ancient ointments. It's it's all kinds of noxious, poisonous, toxic plants, and it's hallucinogenic. And a friend used it as a marital lubricant, and uh, she swears her vagina spoke to her and then sang her a song. Believe me, honey, that's what we all say. <laughs> All right, contestants, good luck. You're going to need it. Everyone, please turn your attention to our game board as Nancy tells us our first five topics. All right, our new categories. The biblical doctor told me to take 10 huge stone oh, tablets oh. and call them in the morning. Oh. I didn't really write the Constitution. Don't make a Federalist case about it. Oh. Whenever the skater made dinner reservations, she always figured eight. Oh. My Buddhist friend says the destruction of oh. the opera house was due to bad Carmen. Oh. Movies in which the co-star sleeps with Redford besides three days of the condom. Oh. <laughs> All right, now, contestants. Contestants, in the first round, questions are worth anywhere from 50 to 150 dollars of my money. We'll start with you, Paula. Please pick a topic. Well, I'll have to go with my Buddhist friend says the destruction of the opera house was due to bad Carmen. $100 question. After its company moved to a new location, what 83-year-old New York opera house was demolished in January 1967? Joe. The Metropolitan Opera House. Very nice, very nice. Fifty dollar follow up, Joe. What American conductor and pianist became the first artistic director of the Metropolitan Opera in nineteen eighty six? 
John Williams? No. <laughs> That's a hard one. James Levine. James oh. Levine. That was a hard one. That was darn hard. Okay, our new category. I overcame my need for brown liquids when I read Coco Dependent No More. <laughs> no. I'd like movies in which the co-star sleeps with Redford besides three days of the condom. $100 query, set in Las Vegas, what 1993 movie asks the question, would you let your wife sleep with Robert Redford for a million dollars? Joe. Indecent proposal. Well done, Joe. Well done. Well done. $50 follow-up. Opened in 1968, what Las Vegas hotel casino features trapeze stars, high wire artists, and clowns as part of its permanent decor? Circus, circus. Well done, Joe. Well done. <laughs> now, before I lose any more cash, why don't we take a break? We'll come back to see how much our money these insects can take away from me right after this. Right now, Joe is going to leave with $250 of my money. Nancy, what is our new category, please? Our new category. The fat mechanic can't fasten his fan belt, so he's on a low carburetor diet. <laughs> Joe? The fat mechanic can't fasten the seat belt, so he's on a low carburetor diet. $100 query. In most modern cars, the carburetor has been replaced by what system? Joe? Fuel injection system. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Which automobile engine components ignite the fuel-air mixture in the cylinders? The spark plugs. Very nice, Joe. Okay, new category. The fiction writer spilled soup on his lap and burned his private eye. Oh. <laughs> How about I overcame my need for brown liquids when I read Coco Dependent No More? $150 query. What brown Italian beverage is named for its similarity to the color of a monk's robe? Joe. Cappuccino. Nice work, Joe. Nice work. $50 follow-up, Joe. Simply translated, an espresso dopio is what kind of espresso? A double espresso? Nicely done, Joe. Nicely done. <laughs> the head-banging chemist played F.E. metal music on his periodic turn <laughs> You guys, we got less than two minutes. Call a team. Get in the game. The head-banging chemist played F.E. F.E. metal music on his. $50 question. What metallic element is represented by the letters F.E. on the periodic table? Joe. Yes? Iron. Very good, very good. $50 follow-up. $50 follow-up, Joe. What chemical compound containing iron ore is more commonly known as rust? Ferric oxide. Very nice, Joe. The bride got so drunk at her wedding, she even threw up the bouquet. Oh. Yeah. How about the biblical doctor told me to take 10 huge stone tablets and call him in the morning? $50 question. According to the Ten Commandments, you should not bear false witness against whom? Joe. Your neighbor. Very good. $50 follow-up, Joe. According to the Bible, God gave the Ten Commandments to which biblical figure? Moses. Very nice, Joe. Our oh, new category of Joe wins Ben signs money. I love the Canadian pants because they had a Nova Scotia more room. Uh, I didn't really write the Constitution. Don't make a Federalist case about it. $150 query. Known as the father of the Constitution, what author of the Federalist Papers was our fourth president? Paula. John Quincy Adams? No. James. Uh, Thomas Jefferson? No. Joe. Madison. Yes, Joe. Yes. Now, I'm not sure we've had that many shutouts at the end of the first round before. So here's a tie-breaking question. You're out of it, Joe. You can't answer it. Between Paula and James, how many stars are on the U.S. flag? Paula. Fifty. Fifty it is, Paula. Fifty. <laughs> Talking vagina friends, we gotta say goodbye. Well, we have enjoyed very much having you on the show, James. Thank you for playing our game. We're gonna take your zero dollars and do zero with it. 
And then when we come back, I'm going to do something that Regis Philbin would never even dream of doing, not even in a million years. I'm going to work for the amount of money that I get paid on this show. Now, actually, I'm going to become a common contestant. Stay tuned. It will be wicked. The bug boy has $950 of my money. Paula, the massage therapist, has $0, but she won on a tiebreaker. And we are in the 500th anniversary show, second round. Very exciting stuff, at least for me and Nancy. And we have $4,050 remaining to us, Ben Stein, the royal Ben Stein, of our original $5,000 stake, which I'll once again defend by becoming a common contestant. <laughs> Here. Ben doesn't have an advanced knowledge of the question. Wait, I think for this 500th anniversary show, I should get the advance. Uh, no, okay. No, Ben. Very well, okay. Okay, and whoever has the highest score at the end of this round, whether it's Paula or Ben, will go on to play Joe one on one uh. for his $5,000. So uh, let's take a look at our new categories. They are. Life forms that eat themselves up inside other than Ben on April 15th. In his first rhyme at bat, Kai Am smacked an Omar. When the lawyer changed the foreman's diaper, he was accused of jury tampering. The picture of the reclusive woman was shot at a high shut-in speed. And before leaving the White House, Clinton filled out a change of blue dress for her. Okay. Before leaving the White House, Clinton filled out a change of blue dress form. Okay, $300. In December 2000, President Clinton authorized the U.S. to sign a treaty establishing what type of permanent international court? Benjamin? War crimes. Yes, yeah, very good. Thank you. You are very smart for my prom date. Oh, well, thank you. It was a blind date, but it worked out well. <laughs> All right, our new category. The alcoholic's favorite TV show was Make oh. Room for Daddy. Oh. I'll try, uh, let's see. When the lawyer changed the foreman's diaper, he was accused of jury pampering. For $300, what is the two-word term for any type of lawsuit brought on behalf of a large group with common interests? Benjamin? Class action. Class action, yes. Oh, I used to get a lot of action in class. <laughs> hmm. Okay, our new category. In terms of meat, my unit oh, is eight pounds. I'll try, uh, let's see. La, uh, now the alcoholic's favorite TV show was Make Rum for Daddy. For $200. In 1919, over 2 million gallons of what sticky substance broke loose from a Boston rum distilling company and caused major destruction? Joe? Molasses. Molasses, Joe. You got it. Okay, I'm sorry, buddy. The Surrealist Weatherman's Dolly Forecast. Partly surreal with a chance of hat. Oh. And, uh, you guys, we got less than one minute. Jim. Life forms that eat themselves up inside other than Ben on April 15th. Uh -uh. $400, popular in lab experiments for its amazing powers of regeneration. What flatworm will eat its own body in the absence of food? Ben? Tapeworm. Uh, no. Oh. Joe? Planarian? Yes, bug Very boy. Good. Bug boy, bug boy. <laughs> okay, our new category. The engineer said, I'll get water to the city somehow by gush by gully. In terms of meat, my unit is eight pounds. All right, but pick a category. Oh. <laughs> For $300, once equivalent to 14 pounds, what former British unit of weight also equaled eight pounds when weighing meat? Go. Stone. Wow. wow. <laughs> You guys, the sound means the round's over. Uh, let's see, who won? Uh, uh, oh, Joe, congratulations. $1,850 I got a kink in my neck. Sorry. Paula, well, good sportsmanship oh. is everything, and we're very honored to have a, had as good a sport as you playing this game. Thank, Thank you. you so much for playing our game. We wish you well in your gilded career. Thank Joe, you. you've been playing a wizard game so far, and I look for <laughs> even more scary stuff from you in the next round. When we come back, I can go mano a mano against Joe for all $5,000 of my money. Stay tuned. It's going to be ugly, especially for me. <laughs> Joe, the bug expert.
Bert. Now we're down just you against just me. So far, you've won a whopping $1,850 away from me, and that is yours to keep no matter what happens. And I bow to your boot of nature, everything good and permanent in you and all other human beings. Now you have a chance, that's a damn good one, to walk out of here with all $5,000 of my money and answer that really in your face. And all you have to do is beat me what we call the best of ten best of knowledge. Now, what is this lovely thing, Nancy, that you're wheeling in? Uh, something let, that's... Let me help you. Oh, Jesus. I'm getting a facial right now. <laughs> what is this lovely thing, Nancy? Ben, Nancy's? happy anniversary. Oh, happy anniversary to you, too. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much. I Oh, thank you, Nancy. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Would you like to blow it out? No, I think the blowing is your job. <laughs> we'll blow it out together. Okay. Very good. Very good. Hey, Ben, your wish didn't come true. Joe's still here. <laughs> very true, very true. <laughs> All right, I'm going to ask you about the same 10 questions, and Joe, if you can get more correct, then Benjamin's fine. You get us $5,000. Sir, would you like to go first or second? I want to go first. Very All right. Thank you. Joe, Seth, you got a lot of cash there. Whatever happens, you got a lot of money for a bug guy. Um, so I'm going to ask you 10 questions. You'll have 60 seconds. Are you ready? I'm ready. Then let us begin. Launched in 1984, what cable network bills itself as television for women? Lifetime. Yes. Before becoming U.S. president, who wrote a 1975 autobiography entitled Why Not the Best? Ronald Reagan. No. Originating in Britain in the late 19th century, what term refers to an attitude, attitude of boastful, warlike patriotism? Uh, jingoism. Yes. What large, circular toy popularized by Richard Nur and Arthur Mellon? Hulu. Yes. In 1774, what New England colony became the first to ban slavery? Maryland. No. Aboard and Sky are examples of what type of specialty publication? Journal. No. In what European city is the Van Gogh Museum located? Amsterdam. Yes. In the New Testament, what saint was converted on the road to Damascus? Paul. Yes. People with what two-letter blood type are known as universal recipients? A.B. Yes. Which jazz guitarist album, Greasin, won the 1976 Grammy for Record of the Year? Pat Metheny. No, but you got six. Good job. Okay, no, no, stay there. Uh, the president was Jimmy Carter. The colony was Rhode Island. The publications are In Flight magazines. And the jazz guitarist was George Benson. <laughs> Hi, Darling Benjamin. Nancy. Hi, Darling Ben. Uh, you have to beat a score of a six. Wow. Well, he's a very, very smart fellow. Yes. But so are you. So I will ask you the same 10 questions. You'll have 60 seconds. Well, I should do my best, Nancy. It is our 500th anniversary episode. It is called Win Ben Stein's Money, <laughs> not Ben Stein Keeps All His Money. Okay. All right, Ben. Are you ready? I shall do my best. Then let us begin. Launched in 1984, what cable network bills itself as television for women? Uh, let's see. Lifetime. Yes. Before becoming U.S. president, who wrote a 1975 autobiography entitled Why Not the Best? Carter. Yes. Originating in Britain in the late 19th century, what term refers to an attitude of boastful, warlike patriotism? Uh, jingoism. Yes. What large circular toy popularized by Richard Nur and Arthur Mellon began a 1958 craze? Uh, Chinese checkers. No. In 1774, what New England colony became the first to ban slavery? Massachusetts. No. A board and sky are examples of what type of specialty publication? Wow. Um, magazines? More specific. Uh, special interest magazines. No. In what European city is the Van Gogh Museum located? Uh, uh, Amsterdam. Yes. In the New Testament, what saint was converted on the road to Damascus? Saul. Yes. People with what two-letter blood type are known as universal recipients? Uh, uh, a positive. N no. <clears throat> Uh, sorry, Ben. Out of time. Oh, hey, Joe, you win six to five. Very nicely played. Congratulations, Joe. You just got five thousand dollars in my money. I'm impressed. I'm humbled. Now let me just say also, I've been around Hollywood now entirely too long, and it's not often the shows get to 500 episodes. So I just like to take a second to thank everyone involved in making this show happen.
And that is so many wonderful people. I mean, a million. Andrew, our executive producer, is coming out here. Al Burton, who invented the show, a very smart fellow, indeed. A wonderful. Yeah. Jimmy, yeah. Jimmy Kimmel, <laughs> the world's funniest human being. Oh, please. And now I, I, I and and I. Oh, dude. And so, <laughs> and so many, and so many wonderful. <laughs> Terry, who writes and supervises the writing of the questions and is the judge as well as the producer. Our wonderful Meredith, I'm not sure where she is, but everybody who works on the show, about 90 people. That's and that guy who watches the door. Yeah, exactly. And therefore, I challenge all of you out there to keep watching those that several years from now we can celebrate another five days. Who are these people? Michelle Watson's CSX Theory. Water resistant, full function chronographic calendar. Contemporary solid stainless steel bracelet and deployment safety buckle. Superb quality crafted from Michelle Watson. of Comedy Central Weekend. I will not hesitate to beat your ass with your own shoe. First, we're putting on our best. <laughs> then, we're putting on one hot bar mitzvah bag. Best of Comedy Central Weekend. All this weekend, right here. If you're missing the all-new season of South Park, this message is for you. What the hell is your problem? South Park, season 8, the highest numbered season yet. New episode, Wednesday at 10, exclusively on Comedy Central.